Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Illusion of Gaia! Well, we, uh, got the two sketches of hope into the rooms of hope, so that means this area is almost over with, right? <laughs> uh, no, not by a long shot. Uh, well, actually, we do have one more puzzle to, uh, finish up here, but, uh, yeah, we gotta find more rocks to collect, because apparently Will is a rock collector. And we found the only red jewel that, uh, we can get in this area, so... Well, at least they don't, you know, make us go all over to find those damn things. But now we can go down to the lowest area, so let's take a look around. Let's go to the right here first. I'm gonna keep Will, uh... Well, yeah, I'm just gonna keep Will, uh, for now, instead of going back to get Freedan, because I need Will in order to go places that Freedan cannot. For now, but soon enough, I'll show you how we can get Freedan back because it's kind of hard from this lower level area. And uh, well, yeah, you'll see. Ha! Plus, I can take out those magicians a little faster. Unfortunately, my psycho slider does not work on them. What was the name of that attack in Mega Man 3? I forget. I mean, I know it was a sliding move that he had there, but uh, I forget what they called it. And Mega Man doesn't have that in uh, Mega Man 9, does he? Uh, that was his, uh, that was Proto Man, wasn't it? Or, I haven't played Mega Man 9, so I don't know. But I thought like one of them had the sliding move and the other one didn't, from what I heard. And in this chest we find Rama's statue! Is it made out of Rama noodles? No. No, it's a, it's a rock statue. Just like all the other statues we found. What is, it with, what is it with this game and statues? I mean, this game's obsessed with finding statues. I don't know, viewers. You, you got me on that one. Let's see. We killed all the enemies in those two areas. There's six areas, by the way, in in this area. So, or six parts to this area. Uh-oh. Come down here. Damn it. Ha! I can block your energy balls. Your balls mean nothing to me! Whoa! Ah. Ah. Those things don't always go, like, straight at you, so it's kind of hard to tell where they're gonna go. Damn it! Wow. Get down here! Ha! Got him. Let's see. One more. Why not? Oh, I love that Psycho Slider move. I don't even have to charge up or anything. It's beautiful. Let's go down here real quick. Not a whole lot I can do here yet, but I just want to take out the enemies that I can. Darn it, that guy's gonna... Damn it! Ha! Dumbass. One more. One more! One time, dealer! Let's see. Ha! Yeah, if only Link's flute would block the Wizrobe shots! But no, it doesn't work that way. Not in Zelda 1. Let's see. Yep, that's a dead end. Well, not a dead end, but there's nothing we... Well, I suppose it's kind of a dead end for now, but... Soon enough. We'll, we'll deal with that area soon enough, viewers. Yeah, Link's Flute wasn't nearly as useful in the original Zelda if you've never played it, viewers. <laughs> oh, well. Let's head up here, then. Let's see, this is the last area that we have with monsters! And... Oh, there we go. I was like, why did they put this area here? Uh, I don't know. The, there's no enemies up there. What the hell? Did I just kill the Wizrobe with my Psycho Slider? I couldn't even tell what was going on there. Okay. Well, let's head up here then. Yeah, we couldn't get up to this upper level because, um, well, the, uh, what is it? We couldn't get down to the lower area to get back up to this area. So, there we go. Nothing over there. I'll kill you, Rockman! Yeah, I don't understand the whole Rockman, Mega Man thing, viewers. I'll be honest with you. And what do we have in this chest? We found Rama! It's the same thing we had before! What the hell? Did it, well, at least I got all the enemies. Huh, we got two of the exact same thing. What's the difference between the two of them? Well... We'll put those two statues to use soon enough, viewers, soon enough. Don't worry about it. For now, I want to get back into Freedan, 
So, now, a lot of people ask me about this. H.C. Bailey, how can you bring Friedan to the final air, or the final part of Moon? Because you don't have access to the Psycho Slider, so he can't get there very easily. He can, but it's not easy. Normally, I would off-screen this and just say, hey, go back to the other dark space and uh, get Friedan back. But enough people asked me about it, you know, I figured, okay, I'll show you how to get Friedan and get to the final par part of Moo, so that way, well, it'll make life a lot easier for you, because this is probably one of the hardest parts in the whole game. There you see, uh, yeah, someone was telling me that in the comments section that um, you can slide on the spikes if you're a little behind there, and you can avoid damage, so... Apparently they were right. Thanks a lot. Thanks for the advice. Now we got Friedan, so let's get back to that other dark space. Pretty much the same way we did the first time. Yes, made it. It's too bad, you know, the other uh, Lady Olmec wouldn't help me out, but, uh, oh well. That's okay. Maybe I should get my own Olmec, or Talking Stone Hat. One day I will have my own giant talking stone head statue viewers, kind of like Legends of the Hidden Temple or The Wizard of Oz. Man, it's been a long time since I've seen that movie. That's an old movie. Probably one of the oldest movies that I've ever s that I even remotely like nowadays. Don't really care for Casablanca, I'll be honest with you viewers. Or, uh, what's that other one? Citizen Kane? Or... One of those other, like, 1940s movies that's considered to be, like, one of the best of all time. It just doesn't do it for me. A little... Uh, that's a bit too old, even for me. So... Yeah, I mean, I don't mind black and white. I mean, heck, I play Game Boy games. Come on, viewers. But, you know, I'm, I just, uh... Some movies are just a little too old for me, I think. But Star Wars is cool, though. I mean, it's better than the new trilogy. At least the dialogue is. Haha! -ha! We've made it back to the other dark space, so now I want to heal up and we'll get ready to move beyond. Alright, we're all healed up and ready to go. I hope you don't mind that little brief excursion that I took there just to get Friedan over here or showing it on the screen. Yeah, it's a little tricky to get him over here without the Psycho Slider, but uh, we made it. And what's in this room? I don't think anyone tells us about this room, so I'm just going to tell you. we got to get these two Rama statues and put them on top of these altars here. Collect rocks, put them on other rocks, get teleported to this ancient burial ground where their tombstones are made in the shape of Curly's head from the Three Stooges. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and this guy's Rama, a giant talking stone head. I suppose people worshipped... Uh, Omex, why not this guy? Ray of light from the sky. What did that do? It gave you cancer. That's just great. Maybe you should stay out of the sun more often. Turn people into monsters. Oh no. Well, where are you going to move? Are you going to move to Ireland? What else floats in water? I guess not. Undersea tunnel, huh? Whatever happened to that undersea tunnel, anyway? Oh, it's right inside of here. And he has the mystic statue! Alright! No boss fight or anything! Well, that's, uh, it's nice and refreshing. And there we are. Or is there the hardest boss fight in the game awaiting us? Let's find out! All right, let's check out this tunnel. First things first, charge up Darkfire, head up this third column here. Hey, it's Eric. Who did that to you? Two, two vampires. Ah, ah, ah. But yeah, you see uh, why I hit the vampire, or why I did what I did, because I can get in a free shot on them. So, there we go. And this is probably the hardest boss fight in the game, because we got two bosses to deal with here. So first things first, you want to take out the male vampire, get in as many hits on him as you can, first thing. Get two shots in, and then back off, because they'll have that barrier come around. And do not get hit by that thing. That thing will hurt like hell. 
Get in two shots. Back off. Two more hits. Back off. Okay, now finish him. He's almost dead. Got him! Now we just got the female vampire to deal with. The reason you want to get rid of the male vampire first is because at an intersection, he can shoot a fireball in all four cardinal directions, whereas she can only shoot one in one direction. Uh-oh. This is going to be close, folks. Finish her! Yes! All right. Well, that wasn't so hard. I made that look a lot easier than it actually is, viewers. All right, so we've defeated the vampires. Well, which wire am I supposed to cut? Can you help me out, viewers? Can we save Eric from the bomb? Find out next time on Let's Play Illusion of Gaia! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.